Good morning. This is Joe from Frankfurt on Foot, and today we are in Budingen. We just got off the train that we took from Gelnhausen, and we're gonna walk into the town. So we're walking into Budingen's old town. You got a lot of half timbered houses along this street with some gorgeous doors. And right up in front of us, we see the Jerusalem Gate. So we're uh, get down there. So this is just a really nice walk. We're about five minutes from the train station. This is a straight walk from the train station into Booting's Old Town. Ooh, a frog here at the Ice Cafe Venezia. A Ferrari frog. We're gonna see more frogs as we get farther into the town. Because Budingen is known as the Frog Town. We are now at the Jerusalem Gate. That shows the city walls. And Budingen, I think, mostly has its city walls intact. There might be one small section that doesn't. And if you book a tour with the Budingen Tourist Info, they take you inside those towers. I like this guy, he's kind of cool. So this just goes on down around here. I think Budingen is supposed to have the biggest, most intact bulwarks, these big towers of any city in Germany. So let's walk through the gate. Once the car stop running, you're gonna wanna get hit by a car. When they had their medieval festivals here, they have people camping down here in this moat. And you may be wondering why the slits are sideways instead of straight up and down. It's because this town used crossbows. Booting has one of my favorite Christmas markets because it's so charming here. Oh, look, another frog here in Budingen. Just walking the nice, quiet streets of Budingen. Great door. Lots of half-timbered houses here. Definitely would be a place where I would want to come and spend a weekend and just wander around. There's plenty of um, privately owned businesses here. There certainly aren't any chain stores. And you never know what you're gonna find when you walk by these old houses and the old garages. Army Jeep. So for those of you who like Rotenberg, I think they've got a site that looks just about like this one. This is kind of cool today because there's no cars up around this area. This was only a one hour train ride from Frankfurt. You do have to switch trains at Gelnhausen and you have about 10 minutes to walk to the next track. This is a novel way to use your old shoes. How lovely. 
So we're up on the upper level of the city walls with another bulwark. And this just comes down here. But this goes all the way around here. So if you're looking for city walls to walk, this is a good place to come. Let's walk on down through here and see the city gate. This would have been the over gate for the town of Budingen. I don't know if we can see the palace from here or not. It's a unique palace and we'll see this later on in the video. So that's called Obergasse. And you've got like a different sort of wall here. This is sort of an inner wall. And this would have been the gate, the Obertor built in 1370. Now, if you were wandering around the town at nighttime and the gate was closed and you know, there's a curfew, you have to be inside it probably at dark. The night watchman who's walking around could put you in here. This is the little jail where you could spend the night. It's not very nice in there. There's no toilets down the Obergasse. Let's walk through here, Oberhofdamm, built around 1500. I would live here. Wouldn't that be a charming place to live? From up here, you've got a nice view of the town. There's the church. And this just goes on here, all around. And we'll come back in a little so bit. We're standing up on top of one of the uh, towers. We just walked down the pathway here. And this is the land for the Count of Budingen. The Isenbergs. And that's their palace over there. This is a church. We'll go into the church in a little bit, but you can see how massive these walls are for this tower. Just more beautiful booting in these charming houses. So now we're in the other part of Budingen. We've walked past the tourist info. Probably the only bad part about Budingen is all the cars, all the traffic, because this is not a pedestrian only street. And this building across from us is the, um, at one time was the city hall for Budingen. And today it holds a museum, but it looks like it's closed. They had a big flood here in January, um, 2021. And I think a lot of things just got completely ruined and damaged. Nice old houses. Look at this nice one at the end of the street. So this wonderful old stone house. There's a peek down the street here. And we've got a boar's head up here. If you'd like to know more about that boar's head, book a tour with Frankfurt on foot. We'll bring you to booting in and tell you all about the boar's head. We'll tell you about all the frogs too. And here by the Steininger house, the stone house, they've erected a wall here in 2019 that has the names of the Jewish citizens of Budingen that were killed by the Nazis. So you can remember them by their names. This is something that um, a lot of cities are starting to do now to remember the people. We're right here at the Altstadtmauer, the old town wall with all these beautiful apartments to look out. The trees are all in bloom. And this is kind of a cute thing over here. 
obviously this wall used to be higher, but um, the archers could lean out underneath us as protection and shoot down. That's a cover to protect Now them. we're at the palace for uh, the Isenberg Count. It's a 13-sided palace. It's right over here next to the church. They've got a frog too. Now there's supposed to be a hotel here, which I'm not sure if it's open anymore. But these deer heads are kind of creepy looking. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Did I disturb you? More deer heads. So this is the palace over here with a butter churn tower. And if you look overhead, you can see some overhead pictures of this palace. It does have 13 sides on it, which I think is a little bit unusual. I've never been inside, but I sure would like to. Cool. We are now at the church in Budingen, and one of the interesting things on this church are these claw marks. And if you want to know what they're for, here's some nice big ones. Book your tour with Frankfurt on foot. So we're going to get ready and go inside this beautiful old church. mask on. Isn't this lovely? All the stars up on the ceiling with the vaulting. All things nice too. And over there, they've got the names of uh, all the men that lost their lives in World War One. So we're right down from the tourist info, and this is a tower that's basically just down the street from the entrance to the town and this has a big scale model of booting in, inside of it but you don't get to see it unless you do one of the tours now the tours here in booting are really reasonable book one they're like i don't know 50 euros for four people and they take you inside these towers and inside the walls and up inside the um, hexen tower this is just kind of a a park and it also shows the old wall that's over here that now has apartments so thanks for walking around booting in with me. It's been a joy. I hope that you'll subscribe and come back. Thanks. Bye.